What up, Coach Colin Castelli here with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and welcome to NBA Shooting Secrets, Mike Conley Edition. Now, quietly, Mike Conley is one of the most underrated point guards in the NBA, and his ability to knock down shots out of a variety of situations is one of the reasons why he's so good. So in today's video, we're going to go over a few of the main keys that allow Mike Conley to hit shots at such an incredible rate. Now, as you're watching this video, I want you to think about your own jump shot, because a lot of times you can take these same tweaks, add them to your own jumper, and probably see increased shooting percentage immediately, because you might just be one crucial tweak away from having that lights out jump shot. All right, before we get into it, don't forget to hit that like button, and then leave a comment down below, and let me know what sort of shooting secret you want to see next. And if you're new to shot mechanics, you want to hit that subscribe button, and click the button above, or the link in the description, get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This is a scoring workout that's going to change the way you think about your training, and probably increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. That's how powerful powerful it is. All right, so here we go. Let's start off by talking about Mike Conley's body load. So Mike has unbelievably great body load, meaning that as he's getting ready to shoot the basketball, his body compresses so it loads and can explode into a shot. Now there's a few main keys that go into getting great body load, and the first has to do with your chest angle. Now notice how Mike's getting ready to shoot. His balance is leading just a little bit forward, and his chest is pointing towards the floor instead of towards the basket. And because he loads his chest forward slightly, it allows him to engage his hips a little bit more. That way he gets more pop and power into his shot. So the easy way to check to make sure you're getting this body load is to take a video from the side and check out your torso angle. If your torso's bent forward, just a little bit, you're good to go. But if it's straight up and down, you probably aren't getting as much pop from your hips and thus you're losing some power. So check that torso angle and see if you can optimize your shot. Now, the next thing I love about Mike Conley's body load is that he loads the ball with his body at the same time. So with this, you'll notice that he starts his shot lower down by his waist and then explodes the ball up with his body at the same time. And because of this, it allows him to perfectly transfer his upper momentum through his body and into the basketball and into the shot. And this is a huge reason why he doesn't have to jump super high on his jump shot. So a great way to think about it is this. When your body goes down, down, the ball should go down and when your body goes up the ball should go up because of this it allows Mike Conley to increase his range further than what he'd normally be able to shoot and it also is going to help with his consistency because everything's loading the exact same every single time. All right, so remember, you want to think about your body and the ball as it's one giant spring. So as you load the spring, you load your body and you load the ball. And as you explode the spring, you explode your body and your ball at the same time. If you can do that, you're going to get a smoother shot. You're going to get more power, more range, and more consistency. And it's something that Mike Conley does really, really well. Now, not getting this proper ball and body load is something that I see a lot of young athletes messing up, and it's killing their jump shot. So what I highly recommend is you take a video of yourself shooting. That way, you can really analyze it and break it down. And for that, I always recommend the Up My Game app. They're my partners over there. It's a sweet app where you upload video of yourself shooting. You can get professional coaches to check it out. Um, but what I really love is you can slow-mo, you can take a look at it, and make sure that your mechanics are exactly where they need to be. And I got some great news for you too. They used to only be on Apple devices, but now they have a brand new web app that anybody can access. So I'll leave the link down in the description down below if you want to download the app for free, upload your video. That way you can get inside the community and see what we need to fix on your jump shot. All right, so moving on, now let's talk about Mike Conley's smooth one motion shot. Mike Conley has one of the smoothest and most effortless shots in the NBA. And that's pretty much because he's got a perfect one motion jumper, meaning that the ball never stops from its beginning point down by his waist to his release point towards the basket. Now the key to a one motion shot's all about timing. Notice that the ball reaches Mike Conley's set point or the point that it moves towards the basket right as his toes are getting ready to leave the ground. By timing the set point just right, it allows him to have that smooth one motion stroke and maximizes up force through his body and into the basketball. Think about it like throwing an uppercut punch. If you start it further away from your target, you're gonna get more power and momentum. But imagine instead you were only allowed to start your punch two inches away from your target. It'd be really hard to get that extra power. And that's essentially the exact same way that a one motion shot works. If you don't interrupt your power and momentum, it allows you to shoot with greater range and greater fluidity, thus more consistency. And just watch on every clip how smooth Mike Conley's release is. There's no hitch, no pause from beginning to end. And what's interesting is this one motion shot does tie into the body load that we talked about earlier. Because a lot of times if you load the ball higher in your shot pocket, it's going to get to your set point too early and you're going to lose a lot of that momentum. So get that smooth one motion shot and it'll help you out a ton. Remember having a hitch in your jump shot or having missed timing is one of the biggest issues that you can possibly have because it limits your range and it limits your consistency. So if you can smooth your jumper out, make sure that your legs and the ball are firing at the exact same time and reaching that set point at that optimal timing, it's going to allow you to have a lot more range and a lot more consistency right away. This is probably one of the very first fixes you want to check on your jump shot because if you can, a lot of times you can see some big improvement right away. All right, now that we've talked about Mike's upward momentum and smooth transition, I want to talk about his feet sweep. 
Now, a lot of coaches and trainers will tell you that you need to land in the exact same spot as you took off from on your jump shot. But you'll notice that Mike Conley and a lot of other elite shooters land a little bit forward on their jump shot instead of in the exact same place. So it's really easy to see when he's on the three-point line. Notice as he lines up on the three-point line, when he shoots, he's going to land inside the three-point line. And you'll notice that he does this on pretty much all of his jump shots, and the reason's actually good. Because his momentum carries his feet forward, it allows his shoulders to relax back and gives him better arc on the basketball. With this, everybody's gonna be just a little bit different. Some players might only like to come forward a couple inches, other players might like to come seven, eight, nine inches forward. But as a general rule of thumb to start, I like to think about having your heels land on the three-point line as you're coming down out of your shot. If you can make that happen, most of the time that's enough to get your shoulders relaxed and get better arc on the basketball, just like Mike Conley. So remember, relax your shoulders, let your feet come forward a little bit, and that's gonna allow you to properly transfer that momentum through your body and into the basketball. I right, don't forget, if you wanna analyze your own jump shot, check out Up My Game at the link down in the description because it's a great way to kind of start molding and crafting your mechanics to your own needs. And hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, show us the love in the comment section down below so I can know exactly what kind of videos we wanna make next for you. Oh, and don't forget, hit that button, get that free scoring workout, that way we can take your game to the next level faster than you even thought possible. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching, and until next time, splash on.